Hi, here is Fabia from the Diagnosis Product Support Team, and today I would like to show you how to jumpstart your data analysis with Spectromine. Spectromine is a versatile software conceived to search any type of MS data and perform a variety of experiments. This includes searching and generating libraries from DDA, DIA, as well as PRM data with MS1 information. You can also perform isobaric label quantification, ILQ, and labeling efficiency check for isobaric tags. Before setting up your analysis, I would like to have a look at the pre-installation recommendations. On the global settings, you have a look at the directories. We recommend setting the temporary directory as well as the local search archives to local destinations with enough storage space. We also recommend running Spectromine locally, namely having your resource files, your run files, your local search archives saved on a local drive. Under settings, you can also find the parameters for your analysis, such as the search settings that are helpful for the peptide search, as well as the experiment settings, which are pre-made depending on the workflow that you would like to perform. Here you can also create your own setting schemas. And also it is important to notice that the settings are also displayed in the moment you will perform an analysis that can also be modified there. On the databases, you can find several resources such as protein databases, FASTA files. From our online repository, you can actually download several of them. We have a comprehensive modification repository where you can find several modifications and labels but also generate your own modifications in case you work with one that we don't have. Similarly, you can also generate your own cleavage rules. We have a list with the most common enzymes, but you can also generate your own. Under the quantification tab, you can uh, visualize the quantification method for ILQ quantification. Once you are all set with your parameters and also you have the resources necessary to start your analysis, you can move to the analysis perspective and start your experiment. Setting up your spectrum and experiment is easy and straightforward thanks to the setup wizards. Any type of experiment can be set up with a generic link set up a spectrum and experiment. In addition, the analysis perspective provides shortcut links to to pre-configured settings for the most common experiments. You can set up TMT, iTrack, and EasyTag experiments. You can generate spectral libraries from search archives, which will then be stored under the archive perspective. And you can also perform library-based DDA searches. My experiment is a TMT 16 Plex or TMT Pro. I can go to a TMT shortcut, and select 16 plex setup. I will first name my experiment and select the runs. I will then choose the FASTA file for the search. And define the search space. Because I use the shortcut, the search settings are already set for TMT Pro quantification. If you have a block design, you can assign runs to blocks and Spectromine will perform cross-block normalization. The quantification method for TMT Pro is automatically assigned. You can have a look at the quantification method and make sure that the correct TMT uh, labels have been uh, assigned. In the next window, you define the conditions for the differential abundance testing. You can then assign conditions to isobaric tags. And in the next window, you can also assign, in case you perform gene ontology enrichment analysis, you can assign your gene ontology annotation file. Finally, you choose the experiment settings based on your workflow. In our case, it will be quantification. This is the summary of your analysis. You can have a, fi can have a final check 
And if you're good with it, you can click on Finish and start the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, this is how it looks like. You have the run, the protein, the precursor, and scan level. At every level, you have different plots, such as the protein coverage, the best PSM, the fragment intensity prediction, and in case you have performed MS3 quantification, you have the corresponding MS3 spectrum. In the post-analysis perspective, you get an overview of your experiment and also several plots. Under the differential abundance node, you can find the results of the differential abundance testing. If you rather export your results, you can go under the report perspective, and here you have fully customizable reports. You can have long and wide format reports. You can include or remove different columns from the report, as well as apply different filters. You can also build custom report templates to automate future exports for any external pipeline that you would like to use. Here I concluded this short spectrum and demo. If you would like to learn more, you can visit our webpage and contact us at supportedbiognosis.com. Thank you for watching.